G'day everyone and welcome to Self Reliance Australia. This is the last video I'm going to do for the year of 2022 so I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone. I think I've just hit 343, 344 subscribers and I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you. It's far more than I thought would ever come to the channel and start watching what, I've, what I'm talking about and rambling on about from week to week. Um, just so thank you for your support. Thank you also for your comments. I do read each of them and respond to each of them um, So thank you very much to everyone that has sent out comments as well. Look, it does mean a lot to me um, And also in many ways, I want to help other people because I know if I'm doing it for the first time Then there's probably other people out there who are also doing it for the first time And I know there's some really good channels out there who cover a lot of stuff But sometimes it's not exactly the same as what I've done. So like for example, you know, with a Husqvarna mower, it might be a different model. Um, so I found that a couple of times, and I'm just going, well, mine is slightly different, so I've been, I've been able to work it out, right? So I thought, well, if I'm finding it hard to find stuff, then other people will probably find it hard to find stuff as well. So that's one of the reasons why I started the channel. So thank you very much to everyone who's watched and left comments as well. So really do appreciate that. Uh, but while I'm going, Please have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll say that up front because I know not everyone gets to the very end of the video and, and you know, here's the outro. So please enjoy, enjoy the celebrations, the festivities, uh, and celebrate in the way that is meaningful to you. So when we, let's get into the video itself. So this week's video is about the Reclaim CO2 heat pump hot water service. Now look, I had this system fitted about 18 months ago and there's a bit of a s story and a bit of drama and whatnot going on around it but um look definitely worth the watch but please i hope you've watched this before you go and install one so um you can make up your own mind whether it's worthwhile or not anyway hope you enjoy and until next year i'll see you then So this was our old hot water service. Look, at, I'm thinking back then it was probably about a 400 litre tank. It's an old ream, fully electric system. Speaking with the plumber at the time, we thought it was well over 15 years old. Look, it's been out in the weather and so old that all of the data on it has either faded or worn off to the point where we can't identify even what the model number of it was. But it was getting old. As you can see, there's rust starting to come out of it as well, so it's starting to leak. Um, it was on its last legs, but one of the key drivers for it, apart from the fact that it was, I guess we were a bit worried that it was about to fail, um, was just the sheer amount of electricity that it used. This was using well over probably 20 kilowatts of power per day. So that is a huge amount. Like in winter, it was at least half of our electricity bill. In summer, probably closer to two thirds of our electricity bill. So um, made the decision to replace it before it failed. Um, and we had to then just put something in very quickly, um, which then doesn't give you as many options as doing a little bit of prep work and choosing it before it does fail. So what we decided to replace it with was a CO2 heat pump um, with a separate tank and separate heat pump unit. So they weren't a combined unit. And we'll have a look at in the next upcoming video. Um, the system we went for was a 315 litre tank, which is a bit smaller, but we were advised that it was going to be heaps big enough for the four of us in our family, plus any visitors that may come and stay with us at any particular time. So this is the new system. It's a CO2, as we mentioned previously, CO2 heat pump. Uh, it was recommended by the plumber not to go for a heat pump in our area because it's quite cold and the heat pumps don't work as well. But the CO2 heat pumps are designed specifically for colder weather. And I have to say, look, it has worked exceptionally well throughout that time. And look, it is a neat looking unit. We've gone for a separate unit. So if one fails, you don't have to go replace the whole system. So if the pump goes, you just have to replace the pump. If the tank goes, you just need to replace the tank. It does have a, an independent control unit as well, which gives you options around like all the time, um, off peak or solo, or you've got combinations of times that you can set it up for as well. Um, but overall, look, it is a well thought out and well put together system. And so this is where my rant starts. As you can see from the picture, 
this tank was installed damaged. Now this is a $6,000 system. I was actually talking to my plumber just this afternoon, so 18 months after this was installed, and he said just a, a standard electric system is about $1,000 plus installation. So this is about five times the price of a normal system, and it's rocked up, damaged. So as I saw in the last picture, that damage looks like like a, a packing tape has just been tightened too hard and it's crushed the tank. And it's extended around to this side of the tank as well. And as you'll see in the next picture, there's a crush on the top of it as well. And so this crush was probably my main concern, not knowing what's inside and whether the, it's a glass tank as opposed to a stainless steel tank. And if there's any, uh, even a fine crack, well then that's going to vent out and not hold the hot water as well. Now I think the part that got me more upset than anything is that it's taken 18 months to get a replacement tank installed from this particular day. Now the company installed it, we're going back and forwards uh, to, the, to the supplier. The supplier offered me $250 for damage. Now look, to put that in perspective, if I add a zero to the end of everything, it's like buying a say a $60,000 car. It arrives in your driveway on delivery and it's got hail damage across the roof and the bonnet and to get it fixed it's going to cost you like $15,000 and the dealer goes I'll tell you what mate I'll give you two and a half grand for it oh, it's just ridiculous it, re it really is you know um, you know the tank should have been replaced the very next week and then the company that installed it should have then worked it out with the supplier but instead that ma they made that problem my issue and I wasn't happy with it and look, the offer of $250, actually, I just felt it was a bit of an insult. Um, it's a premium, it literally is a premium quality product. And basically, they expected me to like take $250 off, like it's at a scratch and dent sale. A absolutely ridiculous. But look, to be fair, the company that did install is a local, local business. They did end up swapping their tank that they just put onto their holiday house and put it and replace it with mine um, and <laughs> it's rocked up damaged um, again but look nowhere near as bad it didn't have the crush um, injury on the top of it so I was happy to look I just be honest I just wanted it to be over in the end um, so yeah so look, make of that what you will whether it's the you know the lack of service I guess that you know that how, how good is a warranty if they don't want to um, follow through on pr replacing a damaged product but as far as the system itself goes, look, it is actually working really well. Um, I'm not too sure what I said before, but it has literally saved us $100 per month off of our electricity bill. Look, I think I was to go through this process again, I'd be watching like a hawk when it got fitted. Any sign of damage, I'd just be saying, look, take it back. Um, bring us back a brand new unit and just live with the old one until they actually installed a new unit. Um, but look, overall, um, it, you know, it's pretty good. I have to say, I just wasn't happy with the, the level of customer service once it was actually installed damaged. Um, yeah, so it was rather disappointing. Well, there you go. Uh, that job is now finally done 18 months after it originally started. Look, uh, I'll leave it up to you to make up your own mind, whether it's a system that you'd like to install or, and whether you're prepared to go through that drama or not. Look, you know, keep it in the back of your mind that my rant is a rant. Um, it may not be everyone else's experience. It's just mine that I experienced. So something I wasn't overly happy with, as you could probably tell. Um, but overall, you know, all those things aside, the system's probably a very good system. But anyway, if you enjoyed that, please hit the like button and the subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that would be greatly appreciated because it does help the channel grow. And look, please have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And until next year. I'll see you then.